Based on your request, this is the tutorial video where I will create my virtual assistant portfolio from scratch. So get a pen and a paper or better option, get your laptop and follow through the process with me. Don't have to worry about what you would add to the portfolio about your lack of experience. Just trust me to help you out on that one. <laughs> okay, so like this video so it can reach a wider audience. And if you're yet to subscribe to the channel, why? It's literally free. Kindly hit the subscribe button and support my journey. Thank you so much. Let's head to my computer now and get started. We're going to be using Canva and it's totally free. Okay, let's do this. So if you don't have Canva, just go to Google and type Canva sign up. It's totally free. Once you sign up, you have this interface and then you come to the search bar and type websites. Okay. Here we are, we have different options here you can choose from. But remember that the ones with the small crowns are for Canva Pro. If you are using Canva Pro, then you're good to go. But if you're not using Canva Pro, you're using the free version of Canva, then you want to search for the one that is free. Right now, I'm just going to search for one that I will use for this tutorial. going to be using this one you click on customize this template we don't need this all right I like what I'm seeing here so I'm just going to maintain this format hello I am fun this is going to be our first page this is going to be our first page this is going to be our portfolio no this is going to be our skills page yes this is going to be our portfolio page where we're going to you know highlight our sample our work samples <laughs> this is going to be our um, this is going to be our pricing page yes our rates page this is going to be our testimonials or testimonials should come before pricing yes and this is going to be our final page all right so let's get to work let's start with the first page okay so i need this here i'm just going to change the person's name to mine and then I'm going to change the font to Playfair. I want to use Playfair. Yes. Alright, let's bring this back here. Okay, so I like what's happening here. So I'm going to follow the format and add my own words. Alright. So this is what I have here. Okay, I work with, I'm going to change the font, sorry. <laughs> Let me change the font to poppings. I want to use poppings all through beside my heather. Change it to poppings. Okay. Yeah, I think I like it. The font is too bold. This is 23. All right, so this is what I have here. I work with, hello, I am fun. I work with busy professionals who need to maximize their time and focus on growing their business. If you need a tech savvy virtual assistant to help you achieve this goal, dot, dot, dot. And I'm going to keep this as well. I'm going to say, hire me. This is my CTA. You can choose to use contact me here. You can choose to use let's work together can choose to use anything you want to use you can choose to use any cta you want to use here thing i want to do in my first page now is to hyperlink this hire me to my email so when someone clicks on it it takes the person to my email this is the text you highlight it and then you have this small icon here that says link you just click on it and then i'm going to type in my email address here <coughs> at gmail.com enter and click on done so another thing i love to do is to remove this line beneath it so you just click on control u that's a shortcut or you just come here you see it here you click on that you <laughs> you later okay so that's not all for the first page okay for your first page you can choose to use your picture here somewhere here and if i want to do that maybe later in the future all i need to do is just to shift this rearrange my texts and my image my picture will be here all right oops so let's increase this i need it to be bold because this is my cta 
call to action <laughs> okay so the next thing i want to do now is to add our navigation buttons so here i want to have something like home let me just copy this i want to have home here yes i want to have home stay with me okay I want to have home here the next thing I want to have here is portfolio all right next is YouTube okay next is YouTube and finally I want to have contact here this might change later but let's just keep them here yes yeah, so this is it <laughs> don't worry we're not done here i'm going to show you there is more to be done here but we'll come back to it let's move on to the next page of our portfolio which is going to be our skills section all right let's delete some of this let's delete this delete this delete this delete this we're going to be using this so let's keep this here now let's work on our next page so the header will have something like my top VA skills. Okay, bring that here. I click on enter my top VA. Oh, I wrote skill. Nobody told me <laughs> this was a lie. Somebody would have informed me in the comments. Oh, you wrote skill instead of skills. Speaking of that, I think it's high time I do a live on this channel. I've not done a live before on this channel. I think I should. Okay, so I'm going to change the color to this. And I'm going to change the font as well. Because it's using Canva Sign. I'm going to change the font to Popping. Popping. Mm. Let's use Playfair. Let's use Playfair for this. Um, okay. Let's use Playfair. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do now, just excuse us for now. Alright, the next thing we're going to do now is to list our skills. Okay, so if you've watched my resume, my virtual assistant resume video, you will see that I highlighted that I want to focus. My niche is just going to be administrative assistant and content creation okay so before you even get here this is something you need to decide on which niche do you want to focus on what are your top skills all right i'm just going to be listing three so we're going to have something like zero one and because we want to make it fancy let me look for okay here you go let me look for this and then i'll bring this here change the color to this is not black let's use yeah this is better it's almost the same <laughs> all right so i'm going to group this and bring it somewhere here next up we're going to key in our text i really don't want to use playfair for here just the heading let me use go back to popping and then i'll say administrative administrative assistance yes this is too bold take it off I don't want you to be bold okay and then so I'm going to resize this this is one of the areas I want to focus on so what I'm going to do now I'll just go to my resume and copy what i have there if you've not watched that video i think you should <laughs> here we go let's change this to what's i think centered was fine <laughs> nope oh nice all right so this is what we want it to look like okay so that's it for skill one let's move on to skill two bring it here then i'm going to do the same thing content content creation and management not sure let's see if it's going to not split over okay content creation and management let's change this to two okay so content creation and management i'll do the same thing for this one 
I'll go to my resume and copy and paste okay I have sorry I didn't read that for you <laughs> okay let me take this up let me rearrange this all right so here for my administrative assistants I have I am proficient in email management data entry scheduling calendar management travel planning and online research so this is what you can do if you're so focused is administrative assistance instead of content creation here you can say email management okay and then you write a sentence data entry and then you write a sentence calendar management and so on and so forth I believe you get the gist for the third let me just bring in my workflow tools yeah and then I'll bring that here copy I'm just going to go back now to my resume and to copy and paste this is good all right let's move on to the next page which is going to be our portfolio let's take this off let's go through this again this is good yeah yeah this is good yeah we're definitely going to come back to it later but for the sake of this tutorial let's just move on <laughs> okay let's take this off this is where we're going to have our portfolio i love this so we're going to maintain it let's say portfolio here then we're going to make this a thing let's increase this So I'm going to write something here <laughs> I'm going to say these are samples of projects I loved working on <laughs> yay we're being creative uh -huh. okay so we have that here and then the next thing we're going to say is click that's cup click to take a look then I need an arrow there but first let me increase the size no change the font to poppings yeah change all but not all all <laughs> okay change the font to poppings and there we go mm. okay click to take a look I need an arrow here I think I used an arrow today okay <laughs> all right so here we go I'm going to place it here all right so this is where we're going to have our portfolio okay we're going to name this we're going the first one is going to be now what are you going to add here I know you're feeling like you don't have any experience but you actually do so this is what you're going to use as samples of your work all the mini projects you did during your ALX training this is where you bring them in let's say travel planning all right travel planning yes and that will come here let's duplicate this duplicate this as well let's duplicate yes to be what let's say calendar calendar management yes calendar management bring this here so we're going to change these pictures we're going to change these later all right but let's just get our layout <laughs> in place right now this is just going to contain two okay two portfolio two samples of our work and we have like let's say four or five that we want to use so what we're going to do now instead of shrinking this yeah that's something we can do we can shrink it but we don't want to shrink it we're going to duplicate this page so to do that you just click on the page and come here where you have duplicates page and click on duplicates and then we're going to change the text we're going to say <laughs> let's say more on my projects then i just going to leave this click to take a look thing eh? <laughs> okay so next it's going to be uh let's say meeting agenda this 
one is going to be email management i would also like to bring in my research that i did for my clients my network but i don't want to duplicate this again because it's just one so what i'm going to do now is to <laughs> i'll bring it here and i will call it my research That is not correct. No one told me. <laughs> so I'm just going to name it my research and then I will hyperlink my research work that I did for my client here. <laughs> not my clients. I did for my network. <laughs> okay. Come on now. Let's play around with this. Okay. So now we're done with the layout. Are we? <laughs> okay. Let's change the images. All right. Don't want to go to my calendar that I did, my mini project I did, and screenshot and bring it here. I don't want it to look tattered. I want my website to be aesthetically pleasing. So what I am going to do now, what you can also do as well, is to go to Pinterest and download some images. Okay. So we're going to head to Pinterest now and get some images that has to do with um, travel planning, calendar management, meeting agenda, email management. This is what. Let me show you what you're going to do so this is my pinterest once you head to pinterest just click in type in let's say calendar management and then voila you can see this i'm going to be using this one you click on the image click on these three dots and download the image i'm going to speed the process up and download all the images i need all right so i have downloaded all the images i need and i have uploaded them to canva now it's time to drag and drop so this is the one i got for calendar management i'm going to drag and drop this is the one i got for email management i downloaded two but i'm going to use this one <laughs> this is the one i got for meeting agenda and many one travel planning this is the one i got for travel planning next step right now is to hyperlink the images and the text you might ask for why do we have to do both why do we have to hyperlink the image and the text you don't know the one that the clients will click on so to avoid stories that touch just to be safe okay there's no harm in doing that it won't take us up to an hour to do it just watch me as i do it right now so i'm going to go to my google drive now and get the links for each of these samples all right so this is my google drive i'm sure you have something like this <laughs> all right so this is the tax i did for my email management yeah <laughs> i'm going to change it later this is not good this is not what i'm going to maintain for my portfolio but for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to use this okay just copy that's for inbox management okay so you click on the image right click and then you see link you paste the link you click on done it's that simple and then we're going to do the same thing for the text highlight it click on the link icon you paste and done remember to always remove the line beneath it just control U will take that off okay so i'm just going to do the same thing for all of the samples all right i'll speed up the process I can see you better. During the week for mini project, I designed two, <laughs> one with Google slide and one with Canva. So I'm going to be using the one for Canva for this tutorial. All right. So you might say you don't know what to add on your calendar. I'll just take you through. Let me give you a tour on what my calendar looks like my calendar okay this is from next week you might think you don't have anything to add but you actually do if you have a movie date add it to your calendar if you have a meeting with someone add it to your calendar even when you go to bed and when you wake up as you can see on mine from 5 30 to 8 30 i wake up and do my morning routine yes and then i block 9 a.m 
to 6 p.m that's when i do my work mondays are my filming days i film for like four to five hours this is it here and then i script today is friday i'm going to be scripting after this video i script for like three to four hours as well my night routine i have that here and i'm still filling this up because it's for next week if you want me to show you how i did all of this just let me know in the comment section just as you commented portfolio on the resume video and here you're having your portfolio video do same for this if you like me to show you how to organize yourself and your work <laughs> using google calendar just let me know in the comment section comment the word calendar and that video will be up remember i put everything in here okay it shows the clients that you know how to organize your life okay if you don't know how to organize yourself how are you going to organize mine so be your first client friend okay you are your first client treat yourself properly and trust me you get your first client you get your first real paying client that's our plan <laughs> let's get back to our business of the day we are done adding our links to all of these now let's move on to the next page of our website which is going to be our client testimonials all right we're just going to take off some of these first let's say clients testimonials okay so because we love consistency let's just bring this back here we're going to take off these so this is where we're going to have our clients comment there's an amazing experience experience working with and dot 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 you can add anything you want to add there <laughs> beneath it we'll have the client's name Fun Akban. let's increase this okay so there are different ways you can go about this by the way you can either ask your clients to send you or your networks to send you their testimonials via email or on whatsapp and then you screenshot and then you bring it here but you know already that would be so shabby and i don't want that on my portfolio you can do it it's totally fine but my advice to you is to get what the person said <laughs> okay and then write it here add the person's name beneath it okay and another thing we can do here is to add the project we worked on let's say travel arrangements that's what we did for the client travel arrangements travel planning research arrangements what did i type travel oh no one told me okay let's make that bold travel arrangement and beneath here beneath the name we can add the link we can either add it there or we can add it here let's just say link let's just bring it beneath <laughs> you can just keep it anywhere you want i just trying to be creative with this okay <laughs> all right so this is it for the client's uh testimonial let's change this background to okay so there we have it you can have like one two three let's just let me show you what this will look like let's duplicate have one here and then we have one here this is our client testimonials this is what our clients are saying about us <laughs> okay so our next page is going to be our pricing page our rates page yeah this can be our rates page but we're not going to add our rates here because it has a disadvantage a client might want to pay you higher but then they go through your rate and be like okay let me just pay her what she mentioned what she feels she what <laughs> personally i'm not going to add that here but you can if you want to so since we're not adding that here our next page is going to be our sixth page it's going to be our contact page okay so let's take these all out and we are going to call this let's say contact me okay you know it already contact me bring it here going to paste that and change the color to black because it's not showing <laughs> so i'm just going to copy my contact page from <laughs> my other website i'll paste it here you'll see what it looks like okay yay okay so here it is 
okay so here you can add your email address how do you want your clients to contact you is it via whatsapp is it via instagram is it via email right now i have my email address here this is linked this is hyperlink this icon is hyperlinked to my linkedin profile this instagram icon is linked to my instagram yeah and then i have a text here i can't wait to help you focus on what's important let me be your va and then i have this cute me here <laughs> Okay, so that's our last page. Let's delete irrelevant pages. We don't need these. So let's delete them. Oh, look at, we had this here. <laughs> okay, let's see if we'll see anything we can choose. Nah, you can choose to, oh, you can choose to add your phone number as well. Yes, you can choose to add your phone number, but I don't want to. Okay, so there we have it, but we are not done. Okay, now let's hyperlink our navigation buttons. For the home page this is how you hyperlink it you highlight and then you click on the link button and then it brings you here pages in this document you click on home and okay remember to remove the line beneath it control u we're going to do the same thing for the portfolio so for my youtube i'm going to bring in my youtube link here control you take that off do the same thing for our contact page link our com contact page I think that's the last yes page six done okay so if you don't have YouTube like me or you don't want to focus on content creation like me what you can do here is you can bring in you can hyperlink your testimonial yes you can hyperlink your testimonial page here you can literally add anything you want to add here as your navigation button okay. let's move on to the next thing which is preview let's preview what our page looks like please don't click out and if you're still watching till now without subscribing to the channel kindly take a second and click the subscribe button this is going to encourage me to keep making content like this one as a matter of fact this is my second time of recording this video i did the first one and for whatsoever reason the software i use i don't know got stuck somewhere and everything i was saying and doing on the screen was not showing <laughs> if you watch this video till the end i'm going to add where i cried <laughs> you'll see a video where i cried it's frustrating i might i might not <laughs> yeah so this is what we go through as content creators it's crazy so please kindly hit the subscribe button this is going to encourage me a lot and also hit the like button so that it will indicate to youtube that this video is worth watching so a lot of people will get to benefit from this content thank you so much i really appreciate it okay so let's preview what our page looks like now what our page looks like on desktop this is what it looks like okay so this is what it looks like on mobile currently the view we are having here is still the view for desktop i don't like resizing to mobile let me show you why so if you click on resize on mobile this is what we are going to have it's going to be distorted if you don't mind if you don't mind having this as your portfolio when someone views it using their mobile phone then you can use it but personally nah so I usually keep this on check okay also have something here include navigation menu if you click on that let me change this to desktop so you see what I mean in a larger view okay so if you click on that this is what you're going to have and we had already created ours manually we don't need this okay so keep this on check as well okay all right so that's all we need to view here our next step right now is to click on publish we're not done no stay with me so remember not to resize for mobile don't resize for mobile don't include navigation menu all right so the next thing we want to do now is to rename our url so this is going to be fun akban virtual assistant okay yay our website is live okay now let's view what it looks like this is it this is it friend now let's test our hyperlinks okay this is home so it's obviously going to keep us here let's test this one for portfolio see brings us to portfolio 
Next is YouTube. It brings us to my YouTube channel. If you are yet to subscribe, can you hit the subscribe button? Okay. <laughs> Let's get to 10k sub. Okay, before the end of 2024. Okay, the next navigation button is our contact. It brings us here. There's something I want to show you. Let's get back to Canva now. Let me show you. All right, so if there's something you want to add later, you want to edit, you can always edit. You just click on edit. Once you open your website, click on edit and then change, make the changes you want to make and click on publish website. Republish all over again. All right, so what I want to show you is animation. <laughs> Let's animate our page. Click on animation. You can choose any of the page animations. You can choose the fade, you can choose swipe. There are so many you can choose from. You can do that for each of the pages. You can choose different animation for each of the pages. Like I am doing now. Just click on the page. Yeah, click on the page. Let me see use baseline for both portfolio pages. Click on the page. And then I'm going to use pop here. Alright. So I'm done with that. And I think I'm satisfied with what I have here. I don't want to add anything else. Well... For the sake of this video i don't want to add anything else probably later in the future so i'm going to publish the website again you can see here republish website you click on republish and let's take a view again <laughs> yeah did you see that <laughs> yeah you can see yes we did this <laughs> for free now you are done with the design what you need to do now is to copy your url you can add it to your instagram you can add it to your tiktok you can add it on youtube if you have a youtube account you can add it basically anywhere you want to all right but for me i have a landing page where you find all of these links i'm going to show you what it looks like now here I have links to so many things and I have this link across all my social media platforms. Here you can see my virtual assistant portfolio link and if you click on it, it takes you <laughs> for that band virtual assistant, it takes you to my portfolio. Yay! Okay, so that's a friend. Thank you so much for watching. If you're yet to subscribe to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button. Let me know if this video was helpful to you in the comment section. And let me know what you think about the tutorial. And if you have any questions at all, drop them in the comment section as well. And I will definitely respond to you. Thank you so much for watching this video till this point.